communities are absolutely vital for circumvention. Uh, not only is a tool uh, stronger if you have more people working on it, but a lot of tools rely on people donating their bandwidth uh, to a network. This is, you can set up your own virtual private network, you can run a relay in the Tor network. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities to contribute to circumvention. When you want to bypass internet censorship, you have to use tools which are deployed in a country where there's no censorship. So it is important that there are many people in Western Europe or the United States to help other people in uh, countries where the government censors access to the internet. Free software and circumvention are very closely linked. Um, I think there's a very strong argument that you should be able to see the source code of a software in order to determine how effective it is. And of course that works both ways, you know, the people that want to see the weaknesses in a software can also look at it. But the theory is that the more eyes on it, um, the safer it's going to get. And um, I very much subscribe to that, um, that theory. One of the reasons that openness or freedom in software is important for circumvention is that it lets people review things and perform peer review in order to evaluate how well things will really work. Um, it also lets people more readily determine how blockable something would be. There are a lot of tools still to be developed and um, often, you know, it's hard to know. There's not a lot of payback for creating these tools in, in many situations. You know, you develop a tool, but do you know if it's been effective or not? I mean, it's very, very difficult to tell because the people that are using them, by and large, have limited access to the internet or, for various reasons, can't communicate that they're using your tool. But um, there's amazing projects like Tor that are doing, like, huge inroads into this area with free software tools. And I'd really like to see a future for circumvention that include an expansion of software development in the free software circles, so more, more free software tools were developed. Being that this has been going on for a while, now that there's, there's this whole library of research, and so that people don't have to start from scratch anymore. So, I'm hopeful. <laughs>